ballistic. Longbow. Aim 9X. Mission to engage and destroy an enemy target. Exhilarating, <laughs> to say the least. We're excited about getting this into the field. Meet the multi-mission launcher, one piece of a program called IFPC, indirect fire protection capability. It's a mobile ground-based weapon system designed to defeat aerial threats. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Whitmark is the launcher's program director. It's the first time in air defense history that we've designed a launcher capable of launching different interceptors. We can house up to six different interceptors at one time. The U.S. Army user community came up with the system concept. PEO Missiles and Space and AMARDEC made it a reality. Colonel Terrence Howard, the project manager for Cruise Missile Defense Systems at Redstone, explains this system is just the beginning. And the idea behind this network is take what's needed for the problem presented to the warfighter, plug into that network and offer defended opportunities for the assets that you're looking to defend. This concept is going to evolve over time. IFPC is made up of radar, command control, the launcher and interceptors or missiles all put together. It says that I'm here and I'm in this area and I'm protecting this asset. So let's assume that you had an airfield that you want to protect from any aerial threat. This is designed to protect that asset from people throwing things in on us. And the Tennessee Valley put it into motion. It was developed here, designed here, fabricated here, and now we've got what we have today as a result of that. It's because of this local community. I refer to it as the game changer for air defense. It's all in one box now. It's one launcher, multiple missiles. The system is currently in the hands of PO Missiles in Space and AMARDEC. It is currently undergoing testing and will be in the hands of the warfighter by 2019. For more information on the multi-mission launcher, you can go to WAFF.com, click on the Community tab, and then Redstone Report. For WAFF 48 News, I'm Stephanie Mills.